Hello and welcome to the ITIL 4 Practitioner Service Desk Certification e-learning from One World Training. We would like to first acknowledge Axelos and PeopleCert because we have used their logo and official guidance in preparing this course. About One World Training. We are a global training and consulting company having offices in USA, UK, the Netherlands, India, Malaysia, United Arab Emirates, South Africa, and many other countries globally. We provide training in information technology, business management, projects management, ISO standards, GDPR, and many other topics for individuals and organizations. One World Training delivers courses in five different ways. Number one, they can be public classrooms based. Two, online or virtual from your home or work. Three, e-learning, which is self-paced. Four, a mix of e-learning along with support when you need it and five at the user's location on site for private and government organizations both. We are also authorized and endorsed by leading global professional bodies. And you can see the logos of some of those bodies and the certifications that we offer on behalf of them. For example, in the ITIL uh, family, we offer all the courses and we also offer um, through Axelos and PeopleCert the Prince2 Prince to Agile, these are projects in controlled environments, therefore project management courses. And we also have the Agile Shift, which is a transformation certification for Agile, MSP, Managing Successful Programs, MOR, Management of Risk, MOP is for the portfolio, MOV is for value, P3O, Project Program and Portfolio Offices. Then we also have the uh, Service Desk Institute certifications through PeopleCert, such as Service Desk Analyst and Service Desk Manager. Then we also have the other people search certifications such as DevOps, Scrum, DevSkills, Lean IT, and Six Sigma. We also offer certifications of Exin and also PMI US, such as PMP, CA, PMA, CP, et cetera, those certifications, and also Gaming Works business simulations. One World Training are also an approved Axelos consulting partner, which means we are authorized by Axelos to perform capability and maturity assessment, both for IT service management and project program portfolio maturity management. So these are known as ITIL and P3M3 capability and maturity assessments. P3M3 stands for project program portfolio management maturity model. About the examination, it's a short exam lasting only 30 minutes. If you are writing the exam in a language which is not the same as your spoken language, you will automatically receive 25% additional time, which will make it 38 minutes total. And the system, the exam system detects that based on the profile you have filled in, which will have your name, your address, your phone number, your spoken language, etc. The exam is online at the People Search site. There will be 20 multiple choice questions, one mark per question. You need to score 13 or more correct to pass, which is 65%. All questions are multiple choice, but there are some standard multiple choice. You will have four answer choices and one of them would be correct. Some of them will be negatively worded. There is no negative marking as such, but you might have a question, for example, which of the below four choices is incorrect or not true. And then we have a very few List questions, just like very few negative questions. List questions mean you need to pick up two answer choices from a given list of four, and then decide on the combination of two as your final answer. There is no negative marking. It's a closed book exam, and it is invigilated by a proctor from PeopleCert, which means you need to be on the webcam all the time during the exam. The exam is based on level two and level three of the Bloom's taxonomy of learning and testing. Briefly about this Bloom's method or taxonomy, level one, the bottom most is about remembering concepts, recalling from memory. Number Level two is about understanding them a bit more. Level three is about applying the concepts, applying the theory. Level four is to analyze situations. Five is to evaluate, make a decision and six is to create something new. The exam is at level two and level three, which means you need to have a solid understanding of the theory 
and also in some questions know how to apply it. This is the overall ITIL certification scheme for ITIL 4. You can see here at the top we have ITIL Master. You have at the bottom ITIL Foundation. And there are some uh, certifications which are obtained automatically. Uh, these need not be written exams based certification. For example, the ITIL Master is automatically obtained based on certain conditions that I will explain to you shortly. Similarly, the ITIL Practice Manager, ITIL Managing Professional and ITIL Strategic Leader are also automatically awarded based on completion of other certifications. So first of all, it is essential to complete the ITIL Foundation to go upwards, except if you want to do the leftmost extension modules, namely the acquiring and managing cloud services or sustainability in digital and IT. But for the rest, you need to first finish and be certified at ITIL Foundation. Now, we also have, uh, I will start at the extreme right. To be awarded the strategic leader certificate, you need to complete not only ITIL Foundation, but also Direct Plan and Improve, and also Digital and IT Strategy. In order to complete the Managing Professional, automatically to be awarded, you need to certify, create, deliver, and support high-velocity IT and drive stakeholder value apart from foundation. Then to be awarded the practice manager automatically, you need to pick up any five certificates from the below list of several certificates. For example, you could pick up service desk, incident management, problem management, service request management, monitoring, and event management, which makes it five. Or you could even randomly pick up five from from the below set, for example, service desk plus change enablement, deployment management, service level management, information security management. You will notice that there are total 15 uh, certificates uh, listed here in this uh, here. So you see service desk, incident management, problem management, service request management, monitoring and event. Then continuing below, you have change enablement, release management, service configuration management, deployment management, IT asset management, then further below continual improvement, service level management, relationship management, information security management, and supplier management, and also two more on the left, business relationship management and IT asset management. So that's a collection of 17 practices. If you pick up any five of these 17 certificates and also complete the create deliverance support, which is here to the right. And of course, ITIL Foundation, you will be automatically awarded the practice manager certificate or qualification. Now, some people prefer to do certification bundle. For example, they may pick up uh, the monitor support and fulfill certificate, um, which includes all the five practices listed below. And that plus create deliver and support and foundation will fetch you practice manager. On the other hand, there may be others who might prefer the plan implement and control certification bundle made up of these five practices below it. And then followed by create deliver support and foundation to fetch them the practice manager. Or another collection that is possible, complete the collaborate assure and improve certificate, which is made up of these five practices below it. And then Along with that, create, deliver, and support, and foundation will fetch ITIL practice manager. So there are many combinations possible to obtain the practice manager. Now, the last thing here to let you know is to be awarded the ITIL master, one would have to complete the three at the top, practice manager, managing professional, and strategic leader. As soon as somebody has done this, they would automatically receive the ITIL master for ITIL 4. And there is uh, there are a couple of footnotes uh, here and that will give you the same clarity that I explained uh, to you right now. So we look forward uh, uh, for you to do some of these courses additionally and uh, get in touch with us anytime. The learning outcomes of this course, uh, in fact, all the practice courses in ITIL 4 have the same learning outcomes. Not only service desk, but even if you picked up, for example, incident management, 
it will have the same learning, seven learning outcomes. 